Good morning and happy Tuesday. Why did I have to think so long? It's the day that I drive to the office. Y'all look at this cute shirt I got. Costco. It's like 12 bucks and it feels so good and silky. It's like, and yes, Costco is like Sam's. I had a lot of people ask me that the other day. It's polyester cotton mix. So it's, it's very soft and it hangs long. I like for things to come down to like the bottom of my panty line. You know what I'm saying? I don't like short tops. Uh-uh, I do not. Anyway, let me put on my green lip gloss. I got this lip gloss a few years ago from Juanelda. Y'all know Juanelda? She's a, uh-huh. She's a content creator. And she sells this lip sense makeup and <laughs> it's the color shamrock sh i think shamrock i don't know it's the gloss so she did this makeup thing and she's so pretty i think but she did this makeup thing fine she put on this really bright green eyeshadow and green lipstick and green lip gloss to go uh, to town because it was uh, St. Patty's Day, right? I ordered the green eyeshadow, and I ordered the green, I didn't order the green lipstick, but I ordered the green lip gloss. It doesn't look green. It's just a shimmer. But anyway, <laughs> well, Juanelda doesn't have these overhangs like that, that overhangs your eyeballs. She don't have that. She's got the tall eyelids. I don't know what to call it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's like that all the time. When she opens her eyes, they're still kind of flat like that. I don't know what to call them. Anyway, so it looks so much better on her. I look like Mimi from Drew Carey. Y'all remember Mimi? That's who I look like. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, mm -mm, no, I can't pull this off because, well, I think I'm too old to pull off because uh, it was in your face it was in your face man but i do like the lip gloss so that's all that matters right shut up tracy all right moving on so i worked with this woman named devon i love devon she is the absolute sweetest person always kind but incredibly witty beautiful very dark-skinned african-american woman and <laughs> she always wore this amazing makeup i mean just like that green, just really bright colors. It always looks so good on her. And I said, Devon, I want you to do my makeup. <laughs> and she said, okay. I said, well, I just wanna know how you do your eyes like that. And she said, I mean, I can show you, but I call it an overhang. She didn't call it an overhang cause you know, she's still young and could think of the right words but anyway a hood a hooded eyelid yeah that's what it's called a hood um i got a he i got heavy hoods anyway she said well tracy I, I mean i can do your makeup but i can't do it like mine and i was like well i know you know we'd have to use a little bit lighter <laughs> makeup you know and she was like no no i can't do your eyes like mine i said why not she said because you have hooded eyes and I said what's that mean <laughs> I never I mean I didn't know what it meant you know I was like what does that mean and she said this part of your eye covers the lower part when you open your eyes this is coming down and I was I was staring at her like oh I never knew that people's eyes look differently right because I mean, my mom's look like mine. I don't think my sisters do now that I think about it. But I just never paid attention. I've just never been one to pay attention to things like that, you know? She said, I would have to do yours totally different than mine. And I was like, well, if it can't be like yours, then I don't want it. Because, I mean, it was just, I, it was like one elders when she did that bright green. It just looked amazing. And Devon could definitely pull off that green because she wears bright colors in the anyway doesn't matter Tracy I'm just a little envious because I have hoods yeah I have 
hooded eyes. And I don't want hooded eyes. I want them other eyes. I'm just kidding. So, the fun that happened last night, let's go into it, right? I'm sitting on the floor. And, you know, every evening I get in the floor and I bounce her ball and she chases it. And I have to be careful because if the ball goes under a table, she won't go get it. Mm -mm, no. Now, see, Charlie would go over there with his paw and pull the ball back out. Mm -mm, not this one. She's terrified. She is terrified to even go near the table because it might attack her. I'm like, go get the ball. So then I have to get up and go get the ball and bring it back and sit back down and bounce it. And I have this uncanny ability to get a hole in one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll bounce that ball. It will bounce one time and then land in a basket across the room just perfectly. Just if I tried to throw it in that basket, uh-uh. It wouldn't even go near it. It would go the opposite direction. But when I just bounce the ball for her, then yeah, it's gonna go, it's gonna be a hole in one. I'm stum stammering around this morning. Anyway, I'm sitting in the floor playing with them. I'm not playing with Gracie, I'm petting Gracie. I'm playing with Penny. Well, Charlie used to get in Penny's face, not Penny's. I feel like my grandmother calling every name except the one I want. Ugh. Charlie used to get in Gracie's face and just stare at her. And she would just pow, 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 just knock the snot out of him, right? And he'd just stand there staring at her. Well, well, she thought she could do like that to Miss Penn last night. And Miss Penn went after her. Had I not been there, Gracie may have been bitten because Penny was not having none of that. No, she started growling and going after Gracie. And I just happened to be sitting there and grabbed her. I said, no ma'am, you do not go after Gracie. She was here first and she's my baby too. And Penny was looking at me like, oh, I'm in trouble. She slapped me, but I'm in trouble. Well, yeah, cause she didn't hurt you anyway. Yeah, I was like, Gracie, that's not Charlie. No, that's not Charlie, honey. There's probably never gonna be another Charlie that's just gonna stand there and stare at you while you slap the snot out of him. Get it! Get it, boy! Get your toy! Oh! Chase the cat. Oh, she's in hiding now. She's gonna get you. <laughs> get it, Gracie. Gracie, don't, I mean, Penny don't put up with it. No, she don't. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. And then Penny and I go to bed and Penny wakes up at, I don't know, four in the morning and decides, decides that she wants to come up there and lay by me, right? To give me some lovings? Yeah, mm -hmm. Woke me out of a dead sleep and I raised the cover and she goes up under the cover and she lays down next to me. And then she starts, she proceeds to start kicking me. So I rub her belly, like horse kicking. You know how they kick their back feet real fast? Every time I stopped rubbing her belly, she would kick me. I said, we're not having this. No, ma'am. Mommy, mommy needs her sleep. Nobody likes mommy. What the heck are you beeping at? There ain't nobody here. I'm the only one in the parking lot. I'm just trying to get better in the parking space. Oh, it's beeping at me because there's a sign right there. Oh, sometimes the beeping gets on my nerves. Anyway, I finally pushed her away from me so I could go back to sleep. Not tonight, Satan. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. All right, I'm going into work. It's 8 o'clock. Bye. Sweet, minty Jesus. I am off. I used to work with a girl who said that all the time. Sweet, minty Jesus. And I was always like, what? But I kind of like it. Sweet, minty Jesus. Anyway, 
if that girl had parked any more crooked in that parking space, goodness. When you have a wrist that has been hurting off and on for a few months, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. Now, oh, okay, thank you, sir. I know you're trying to come in the entrance and I'm trying to go out the entrance, but I appreciate you sitting and waiting on me to come on out. Anyway, I mean, I can't really say that I don't recommend you do this because I don't know what the outcome's gonna be, but I have that lady that works next door to me who is a chiropractor. I went over there and was like, if you're not busy, can you just look at my wrist? Because I don't know whether to go to the doctor or not because it comes and goes and it's not specific to anything I'm doing. It just aches, you know, it just aches and it's in the bone. Maybe it's arthritis, I don't know. But anyway, I think, oh boy, it's hurting so bad. I'm gonna call and make a doctor's appointment and then it won't hurt for weeks or not weeks, but well, maybe weeks. It won't hurt for a bit. And, oh boy, she took it and she rolled it and she mashed it and she pulled it and she rolled it and she mashed it and she pulled it. She said, how's it feel now? And I was like, well, sore. <laughs> what do you mean, how does it feel now? You just rolled it around and jerked on it for a while. It hurts. It hurts. I'm just kidding. I mean, it does kind of hurt, but she told me to go home and put ice on it. Ice and to come back and see her Friday. And I said, except I work from home on Friday. And she said, uh, well then I won't be back till Tuesday. Cause she knows I don't come in tomorrow. And she was like, well, come back and see me then if it's still hurting. I said, okay. I mean, I don't pay her, but I need to buy her lunch or something because I just walk over there and say, fix my wrist. She, she did it to this one. It was actually my thumb that was hurting and, or was it this one? It might've been this one. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But she said, why are you wearing a brace on your thumb? And I told her and she said, take it off. And then she started like wiggling and popping and pulling and snatching and it's been fine ever since. So I decided uh, to try that again, but this time I didn't walk in wearing an arm brace like I did last time, I just walked over there and said, fix me, can you play fix me? And she did. Well, I don't know if she did, but, oh my gosh, it's Tracy. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Just in case, and just in case y'all aren't aware. However, I will say, at the end of the day, this shirt has been very nice. Now, I haven't been outside working in the heat, but you know, you can tell when you just walk to your car, whether a shirt is hot or not. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Anyway, I do like it. And I do be wanting to go back and get me some more of them from the Costco. Yes. Is there anything else I was gonna tell you? Oh yes, I like to listen to music while I'm at work. So I pull up Amazon and go to the music library and I just play music on my Amazon. It's part of the Prime, right? And so the song by Blue Oyster Cult, A Fear of the Reaper, came on. And of course, Lisa and I are singing to it and having a jolly good time when Lisa turns around and says, more cowbell. Squeeze me. She said, more cowbell. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. And she was like, Ugh, it's not funny then. And I was like, I mean, it could be funny if I knew what you were talking about, but no, just yelling out cowbell is not funny. And she said it was Saturday Night Live and it was Will Ferrell and Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. I'm arguing with myself. And a couple of other people dressed as Blue Oyster Cult and Christopher Walken walked in. <laughs> he walked in and he said more cowbell. And then he said he wanted cowbell all over the place or whatever. 
So Will Ferrell is playing the cowbell and he's running all over the room and the lead singer, which is not the lead singer, but whoever was playing the lead singer was getting irritated at Will Ferrell for having the cowbell right in his ear. Anyway, it was a funny skit. But yeah, I was kind of like, huh? I'm sorry, what? Why are you saying cowbell? I don't understand. I was never a Saturday Night Live watcher because I'm an early to bed, early to rise kind of girl, you know? And Saturday Night Live comes on too late for me. Yes, I'm in bed by 10 or 10.30 at the latest. And Saturday Night Live didn't come on till 11. So, that was very late. I've always had to get up really early for work. And I like my beauty rest, you know what I'm saying? I need all the beauty rest I can get without Penny horse kicking me. Horse kicking me. But anyway, we won't talk about that again. What have we discussed in this video? My shirt, eye makeup, lipstick, more cowbell. Yeah, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we've discussed a lot of things today. But I am pulling into my neighborhood. That's how long it took me to get home from work. And then I'm gonna see if I can get Penny to go potty out back without having to go for a walk because it's hot, just in case you're not aware. But the humidity is still down. I don't understand what kind of wa weird backwards world is going on with this Georgia has low humidity, but I am not mad about it. My friend who lives up in Boston they have a lot of humidity going on up there. Yes, they do. They have a lot of humidity. I mean, she sent me a message yesterday and said it was like, oh, what did she say? It was like 90% humidity up there around Boston. Bo Boston, I'm sorry, it's Boston. Not Boston, because that would be New York. Boston. She parked the car in the Harvard Yard. Right? Right. All right. Well, I'm home, so. And none of my babies are waiting for me at the door. How rude. I'll be back. Well, okay, I came home and put on a tank top because I have quite the farmer's tan. <laughs> I have quite the farmer's tan going on. Look at them white shoulders and them darker forearms. So, I took her for a little walkie just two houses up because she wouldn't go in the backyard, so. Anyway, plus I need to get out and walk too, and I have to make her go or she's gonna get a UTI. She will seriously hold it that long until she gets a UTI. She's done it before, so I have to make her go. Anyway, <laughs> crazy, it's crazy. But there she is, what you doing, Pen? She's laying over here like a walrus or something. Gracie, are you comfy? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon, because people be crazy. It's hot, the world's gone mad, and my wrist hurts. Yes, it's been two hours and 15 minutes since she did an adjustment and I sat with ice on it and it still hurts. So, I don't know what it is, but anyway, we'll figure it out. It's okay. I mean, I don't think it's anything serious because it's not really swolled up. It's not really swolled up. It's just, um, it's just painful, you know? But anyway, it's okay. Y'all, um, I'm not saying bye again, okay? I mean, all that stuff again. I'm just gonna say bye, so I'm gonna hang up first after I say bye.